Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Savannah, and today I'm going to be going through the mobile dog grooming extras that I think you need. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be going through a list of mobile grooming extras that you don't necessarily need, but I think make things a lot easier. I've got a list in front of me here. I'm also going to be popping up some videos of the things that I'm talking about. So let's just dive right in. The very first thing on my mobile grooming extras that I think you need is a backup camera. When I bought my van that we converted, it actually came with a backup camera. And this was an aftermarket backup camera that somebody added on afterwards, but it works honestly amazing. In those huge vans that you drive around, sometimes there is some nasty blind spots. And in the mobile van that I used to work out of when I worked for a company, there was no backup camera. So I found myself constantly getting out of the van when trying to fit into parking spaces to see how far away I was from the person behind me. So the backup camera really helps with knowing how close you are to vehicles behind you, especially because you have all of that equipment in the back. You don't have a rear view mirror that you can look in. My Nissan that I have right now doesn't even have a rear view mirror. So a backup camera, I honestly have loved. The next products on my list are both a space heater and a portable fan. Now I have both of these down because we did a DIY conversion on our van. So the space heater is for in winter. Where I live, it gets literally to minus 40 or minus 50 degrees Celsius with the wind chill. So you need a space heater. Uh, I do have a heat strip in my AC that's above me, but it honestly doesn't work that well. Just a standard ceramic space heater does the trick while I'm grooming in super cold weather. So I highly recommend that if you deal with winters in your grooming unit. And then also the portable fan. I do have a rooftop Dometic AC unit, but when it gets really hot or humid in there, I also need some sort of fan to move around that cool air. I have found this summer the best thing that works for me is to have the AC going and then to also have a stand-up oscillating fan behind me blowing onto me and the dog so you really get that air circulating. It gets really hot in there with the dryer that I use. It tends to heat up. To me, a portable space heater and also a portable fan is a must. Something that I got suggested to me by my husband that is a lifesaver on my arms and back is an electric gas pump. If you have a generator that you have to fill up with gas every day before you start your day, those big jerry cans can be very heavy. So what this is, is something that screws into the top of your jerry can. It's got a hose in there and it pumps out the gas for you. So you don't have to lift up this huge jerry can and dump it into the generator. In the beginning when I had to do that, it absolutely killed my back, especially when the jerry can was full. I would get gas all over the place. We got this electric pump off of Amazon and I will be linking as many things down below in the description box as I can for you guys. But you need this electric pump if you have a gas generator. The next mobile grooming extra on my list is a clipper vac. You guys have heard me rant and rave about the clipper vac, but honestly you need it. Even if you're a salon groomer and you haven't gotten into mobile grooming, a clipper vac to me is a must. I was trained with one in school, so I know nothing different. Some people say that it can be a bit of a learning curve getting used to it with the hose attached to your clippers. If you don't know what a clipper vac is, it's basically a glorified shot vac that hooks up to your clippers and sucks up the hair as you are grooming a dog. The brand that I have is the MDC Romani. It honestly hasn't failed me. I absolutely love it but they are kind of pricey, I will admit that, and there is ways that you can make them yourselves, and there's also 
other brands you can get as well. But I highly suggest a clipper vac. It makes things so much cleaner in your work area. You don't have to worry about hair splinters. You don't have to worry about your blades heating up. You get smoother cuts. There is so many pluses to a clipper vac. My next extra is a mounted shop vac. Now, there is not really anything special about this shop vac other than it's mounted on my back wall, so it's not taking up any space in my working area. So when I'm done a dog, I can just vacuum up real quick and it's just super handy. We got ours off of Amazon, but I know you can also find them in stores like Rona, Home Depot, etc. Next extra on my list is my square contactless reader. This is how I take payment from my clients. It takes debit and credit. It's awesome because transactions under $100, it has tap. So with the times that we live in now, people not wanting to touch your devices and stuff, it's awesome when they can just tap on the device. The Square brand reader is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna do a full video breakdown of it. I've had no issues with it. I will say the little readers you can get from Square that you plug into the bottom of your phone, I have had issues with those in the past, so I highly recommend the contactless reader. I got mine for about $50 at Best Buy, and honestly, it's amazing. It hooks up right to your bank account, so all the payments go straight to your bank. It's very user-friendly, and I've never had it fail me, so you need a square reader. Also, no monthly fees. You just pay a small fee on every single transaction. The next few things on my list are actually some safety things for when you are working in your mobile unit. My very first one is pepper spray. And I actually have a mini pepper spray on my keys that I can carry with me all the time. So while I'm in the van, I have the pepper spray with me. And also when I go into clients' houses, I make sure to have my keys on me so I can have the pepper spray with me because you never know what's going to happen. In the van, who knows, maybe a dog is going to attack you and that's all you have to get them off of you. Or maybe you forgot to lock your van and somebody walks in, then you have the pepper spray. Or going into strangers' houses, you just never know. The next safety item I have is a seatbelt cutter. Now this little device also doubles as a, like it'll break the window if you need to. So it's got the little cutter part where you can cut your seatbelt off if you get in an accident or if you need to break a window to get out. It also has a little mechanism to do that as well. Again, it's just on my keys and it always stays on there. I have one for my van. We have one for our SUV and honestly, any vehicle in the future will be getting one of these little devices. The other kind of safety thing I have on this list that I actually do not own yet, but it is on my list of things to get that I've come up with recently that I've decided I need, is a magnet for the outside of my van while I'm working. Now what this is, is just a magnet that sticks to the outside of the vehicle you're in, whether your trailer or your van, that says grooming in progress, do not disturb, something along those lines. I have had people come and knock on my van door while I'm grooming a dog, and that is extremely unsafe, both for me and the pet I'm grooming. If the pet gets scared by the knock, they could bite me out of fear. If I get scared by the knock and say I'm trimming right by their eyes or their ears or something, I could cut and injure a dog. And also, I just don't want to be disturbed while I am working. So I haven't gotten one of these magnets yet. I've seen, I think, a couple people on Etsy that sell them, but I am just going to customize one through Vistaprint. They make car magnets, and then I can just slap it up there once I start grooming a dog and take it off when I'm done grooming the dog. Once again, just another safety precaution. I guess another safety thing on my list is to have a spare key slash a spare fob hidden somewhere on your vehicle that if you lock yourself out, you can get in. I was actually in a situation this past winter where I locked myself out of the van. The keys were inside of my, of my work van and it was minus 45 with the wind chill that day and I had to wait over an hour for a tow truck to come. 
And then I also had to pay $120 for the tow truck to get me into my van. So get yourself a spare key or a spare fob and hide it somewhere. So if that happens to you, you can easily get into your work vehicle and get to your next appointment on time and also not freeze to death. My next grooming extra that may help you when mobile grooming is to get a slip leash. Not just a normal leash that has the clip on it, a slip leash. Now why this is so important is lots of dogs, when I am walking them out to the van, sometimes they will try to pull out of their collar with their leash on it and they could get away from me and run away. So my biggest tip for mobile dog groomers or dog walkers, etc., is to get a slip leash. If somebody hands me a leash, I always put on my slip leash as well. The slip leash, when a dog tries to pull, it actually tightens, so there's no way that they're gonna get away on you. So that is my biggest tip. I have never had a dog get away from me, knock on wood, I hope that never happens, but I do attribute that to having a slip leash on every single dog, whether I trust them or not, even if I'm gonna be carrying a small dog, sometimes I still put the slip leash on. It's just peace of mind and you know that dog's not gonna get out of their collar. Some extras that you can have in your mobile grooming unit that are literally extras but may save you a lot of stress is having an extra set of clippers. So if your main set dies on you, you've got a backup to switch to. Also an extra dryer, even if it's not a high velocity dryer, cause those can take up a lot of space and they are kind of pricey. Even if you just have a hand dryer, like a normal human hair dryer, that'll at least help you get a dog dry in a pinch. And also another product that I highly recommend is the Happy Hoodie. I've featured it on many of my videos. If you don't feel like investing in the actual Happy Hoodie brand, a trick is that you can just get neck warmers that you buy for in the winter and use those over the pup's ears. It just protects their ears, makes the dryer a little less loud and scary. It can also help with dryer seizures in older dogs. There's so many uses for the Happy Hoodie. I highly recommend that product. Okay, so going back to talking about the backup camera and having some blind spots. So the backup camera helps see things that are behind you. But when you're driving, you can also have a blind spot depending on how your unit is and if you drive a van like me, maybe you have a trailer. But you could have blind spots in where you shoulder check. Now my van came with these big, I don't even know exactly what they're called. I think they're made for RVs, but they're big side mirrors that basically eliminates my blind spots. When I drove a Wagon Tails van, my right side, I'm trying to think how to describe this. My right side, I could see my blind spot through a window in the back area, but my Nissan doesn't have that same window. But these big mirrors eliminate that blind spot. So even though I can't so shoulder check to the right, I can just look in that mirror, see my blind spot and see if I can move over. So if your van doesn't have the window through the back, or you do have a major blind spot on your right side, get these RV mirrors, they will save you. An extra that can be helpful is to have a phone mount up front when you're driving. I would not survive without Google Maps. I wouldn't be able to find where anybody lives. A phone mount can be very helpful because it can put your phone in a good viewing spot so you don't have to hold your phone, potentially get a cell phone ticket where I live. You cannot be looking at your phone while you're driving but a phone mount can put it in the perfect position for you to see and hear your Google Maps. My very last grooming extra on my list that is a very recent buy for us is actually a wireless temperature gauge. I'm not quite sure what it's called. My husband ordered it off of Amazon. Now, since I mentioned earlier that we get extremely cold winters, and because of that, sometimes my water lines will freeze, etc. So what this is, is there's two parts to it that connect wirelessly. The one part shows you 
you the temperature and you can have that in your home or on you wherever you are. The other part reads the temperature in the back of the van. So my husband mounted this in my back area of my van where my pipes and water sometimes freezes if I don't put a heater in there. So then at night, throughout the day, etc., if I'm inside, I can look at the little gauge and see how cold it is inside of the van to see if I need to put a heater back there to prevent the freezing. So that is something we're gonna be testing out this winter, especially because right away we're gonna be winterizing the van and kind of putting it in storage while I'm on maternity leave. And we wanna keep an eye on what the temperature is in the van while it's just sitting there. So I will let you know how that ends up working this winter. So far it's been connecting great and very accurate telling us the temperature in there. So, so far impressed and I believe it was only around $30, but I will link it down below. Okay guys, so as I was editing this, I realized there was three more things that I wanted to mention. So I'm just gonna put in the clips and do voiceovers. So the first thing I wanna mention is this quick shut off for the water when I'm filling my water tanks. This prevents me from having to run all the way back to the house to shut off the water before my water tanks uh, overfill. The next thing is this quick connect connector, which prevents me from having to screw on a hose in the winter when it's freezing cold. And finally, the last thing I wanna mention is the hose that I use to fill up the water tanks. This is a super flexible hose, not like a standard garden hose. It's so flexible, easy to wind up, isn't super stiff. It's just so easy to work with. It will honestly change your life. All right, you guys, so that is all of my mobile grooming extras that I think you need to make your life a little bit easier. If you haven't already, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button as I upload new videos every single week. Thanks, guys. See you in my next video.